Welcome to the Warren Plan on Lot 34 in Glenwood and Polesbo by Century Communities. This home is on a cul-de-sac street. One thing to note with all of our Century Communities homes here in Glenwood and Polesbo is that we do include your front yard landscaping. It's complete with grass sod, bark mulch, trees, and plants. Backyard is also grass sod and mulch. On this Warren plan, you'll note the entire covered area over here in front of the garage that extends all the way to the front porch, which comes in very handy with our very wet, Pacific Northwest seasons. You'll also note included is an eight foot tall insulated garage door with windows. We also have a gutter system that I'll show you over here that we try and tuck away and hide for the most part underneath the eaves and it connects right down into the sewer. We do add stone accents on the front exterior of our homes, no additional cost. We also use a hardy plank material, which is a cement fiber board that looks like wood on the outside. So instead of wood siding, it's cement fiber, and I believe it has a 25 year warranty. Also to note, the eight foot tall Craftsman style entry door with the etched glass, normally an upgrade with most builders, but with us, it is included. We also have smart home features that are standard, including a ring three doorbell, so video doorbell, and then coded Schlag entry here, which you can assign codes to friends and loved ones, and you can also open and close the door remotely. As we enter into this 24, 48 square foot, five bedroom, three bath home, you'll note the nine foot ceilings and the nice entryway here. We also include a seven inch wide Shaw brand luxury vinyl plank flooring in all the higher traffic areas, basically everywhere except bedrooms and closets. The planks themselves are 100% waterproof. You'll also note the window at the front entry and we have storage under the stairs here and the bedroom, which I'll show you in just a moment. Here's your storage under the stairs, plenty of space for your holiday decorations. And this is also where you'll access the crawl space. This bedroom on the main floor is really perfect for an office slash spare room. If you have or have guests that can't do stairs, as we do also have a three quarter bath over by the garage entry. And here is your lovely great room with gas fireplace and kitchen. The gas fireplace is natural gas. I turn it on with the flip of the switch. All of our windows, as you'll see here, have been uh, fully encased and wrapped with trim and molding. That's normally an upgrade. All of our windows are also highly efficient, low E glass with vinyl frames. This fireplace turns on and off with the flip of a switch right here. It does push out quite a bit of heat. You are pre-wired for a blower kit if you'd like to put a fan in there to really heat up this space. And then we also wire you for a wall mount TV here. And then this is what's called a Smurf tube. So you run your cables through here. There's a tube in the wall and you pull them out down here where you have a cable and cat six. And of course more outlets. So this is set up nicely to have some shelves underneath the windows. Also, the kitchen. There are a few minor items that still need to be complete in this home and they will be finished very soon. Like hanging these pa pantry doors, for example. But now you get to see what it's like before we hang the doors. So here is the best part of this home. This is a green belt lot where you back up to this incredible tree, which I'll give you a better view of when we go outside and the lush green landscaping. Now, 
I'm standing in the dining area. Lots of windows to bring in natural light. And the kitchen. So as you'll note, complete with quartz countertops. That's standard with us. You also get this wall oven that is a convection oven here. Note the convection fan in back. And microwave, complete with steam and air fry features. You have a natural gas five burner cooktop with the under cabinet hood. And then a full subway tile backsplash. Also our cabinetry, some of the best out there. It's Marilot brand, 42 inch tall, solid maple boxes. You have the crown molding that's included. These are also soft close doors and soft close drawers that have a full dovetail mortar and tenon box construction. We do have lots of drawers in this kitchen layout, as you can see here. More drawers over here. And then also note the six inch bar poles that we've added. And you have USB ports, cable, and CAT6 for ethernet if you need to be hardwired here in your kitchen. And finally, here at the island, pendant lighting is included. The super single undermount sink with pull down spray or faucet is also a standard feature. Garbage disposal with the hidden switch so it's not going to get knocked accidentally. And finally, the full stainless steel interior Whirlpool dishwasher complete with a top third rack, which you never knew you needed for your spatulas and your silverware, etc. Also, this is where your refrigerator goes and it is pre-plumbed with a water line for your water filter, ice maker, etc. Also here, worth noting, Wi-Fi thermostat, control from an app on your phone, and there are two dimmer wall switches that are also uh, Wi-Fi. There's one also at the entry here, so you can control that from an app on your phone. Over here, this is what we call your mud or drop zone area, um, perfect for you know, some cabinetry or some hooks and a bench for your boots coming in from the garage here. Then you have a three quarter bath, great for guests who can't do stairs. Um, also you get the undermount sink, the raised height vanity, etc. And then you have the garage right here. So if you've been working outside, getting a little dirty, you can go straight into that three quarter bath to clean up. Uh, this garage is a little bit deeper than a typical standard two car. Again, with the garage door, eight foot tall insulated. We also have the opener with two remotes that's included. And then this is your hot water tank that is a hybrid heat pump, um, which is supposed to be about four times as efficient as a standard electric hot water heater. And then the standard interior here is mud and tape. If it's early enough in the process on one of our homes, you can have us paint and texture, but um, other things to note, you've got outlets on all of the walls in here. So you're wired and ready to go. And now for my favorite part of the home, the yard. So you have an under truss covered patio with lights, complete with a barbecue gas stub and exterior outlet. Barbecue gas stub is perfect for an outside gas grill or an outdoor fireplace. Um, I know the neighbors over here would love to split a side yard fence with you if you'd like. It is included on the rear of the home. And here, ah! yeah, sorry about that. That was just my partner David over here creeping up on me in all black, scared the crap out of me. Anyway, back to the beautiful backyard. Look at this tree. It's my favorite part. It's really, really cool. It has all these um, kind of janky, mature limbs. Like if you don't put a tree house in this backyard, there's something wrong with you. So that back fence is the property line. 
you'll notice it does slope downward here and where it slopes there's a little bit of a ravine that is a natural preserve re retention area um, the trees are protected and over here you'll note the heat pump which is backup heating source but your main air conditioning resource and then of course you could also do side yard fencing here with and hopefully get to split that with your neighbor as well i'll just give you a little tour of the rest of the backyard and the beautiful green grass so heading back into the home next up is the upstairs We did upgrade the stair railing. The main floor, it is standard with the iron posts and wood banister. Now with the upstairs, you have the nice big loft game room. And we'll head over to the biggest secondary bedroom. laundry room where you are pre-plumbed for a sink and you have the fresh air ventilation system controls there and your media panel or structured wiring this is where we run your cat six lines and you have nine coax cable runs this is a smurf tube for dropping future lines and this is where you plug in your modem of course, you can always use Wi-Fi for additional locations later. And the primary bedroom. So complete with gorgeous wooded views.